A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. And then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for someone to, rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astounded and said, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but for God all things are possible. And Peter said in reply, Look, we have left everything and followed you. What then will we have? And Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man is seated on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or fields, for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The word of the Lord. Truly, it may be one of the hardest things for us to deal with as material human beings in a physical world to know that we have, we have physical needs. We need to eat. We need shelter. We need transportation. We need, uh, there are things we need to survive in this world. And if you have people that you care for, dependents who need you to provide for them. I have, I have children of my own that I need to feed. I need to pay the electric bill to, to make sure they have heating and air conditioning and clothing and school supplies and all the things they need to, to survive and thrive. And that's how I care for them. And that I care for people in need around me, the hungry and the poor who come and I need I need to provide food. I need to provide shelter and, and supplies and material needs. We are material creatures. And so I hear Jesus, in one sense, warning us against being so beholden to the material needs of this world that we forget those things that are the spiritual. As Jesus reminds us not to store up our treasures on earth where moth and rust consume, but instead to store up our treasures on heaven. But but yet no, but we're not in heaven yet. We still need to get through this life at this time. So how how are we to keep this all in perspective? And I and I think what I hear in the story is a call in Jesus' challenge here to think about how we live in this world, to remember that you can live in a scarcity mindset or an abundance mindset. And you can live in a scarcity mindset even if you're rich. Even if you have all the money in the world, you can live in a scarcity mindset of nothing is ever enough. And that everything I spend or lose is something that I don't have and it's taken away from me. And, and to live in a place of fear and lack. You can have that even if you were a millionaire. You can live in a scarcity mindset. And even if you have just enough to scrape by. You can live in a, an abundance mindset. Of being grateful for everything that you have. And so... Jesus' story that I hear in this moment is challenging the idea of what it even means to be rich or poor, to have or to not have, and to realize that there is no link between what you have and what you don't have and being grateful for what you have and afraid of what you don't have. There is no link between what you physically have and a scarcity versus an abundance mindset. And so, yes, whether you have everything you need or more than you need and are basically just scraping by, 
whether you are dependent on the help from others or you are in a position to help others. It's important for us to come from this from an abundance mindset to realize that everything we have is a gift. And don't take it for granted. Be grateful for it. Think about how we can be thankful and use everything we have to, to commend God. To show our gratitude for what we have and how we share with those around us. And that everything that we have, everything that we have is a gift from God. And we should think carefully about how we give thanks for it and, and how we use it. It's a challenge that both those that have a million dollars and those who have just one dollar in their bank account equally have that challenge. And in that way, it's, it's a great level setter for us all. Thanks be to God. Amen.